the bombings do work. The bombings are working. They know what they're doing. Just because you don't know what they're doing doesn't mean they don't know what they're doing. Of course they know what they're doing. The bombings are achieving what they're supposed to, which is to destroy Yugoslavia, to turn it into a deindustrialized, beggar-poor nation of cheap labor, completely defensive to the interests of capital investors. This is a batterer's policy. The batterer is not irrational. The batterer uses violence against his helpless spouse. Just a certain amount of level to get a certain response and batters that person down and batters the person down. And that's what this is. It's a battering policy to destroy and smash them down, but smash them and splinter them so badly that they will never rise again and never come back again, even, even as a viable bourgeois nation, let alone socialist. The old arguments we hear with regard to Vietnam are coming back. Well, we can't just pull out. Oh, yes, we can. We can. We can do it with two words. You can pull out with just two words that call ceasefire, and then another two words, NATO disband. And yes, we, we, the real we, we, we really do have to do something. Call the White House, call your Congress people, your media, talk back, demonstrate, organize, agitate, educate yourself and others, let them know how you feel. Don't think they're not interested, my friends. Oh, man, are they interested in it. Oh, man, do you think they are not watching you all the time? Why do you think guys like me are under surveillance? I mean, I'm not kidding you. When I pick up my, when I, the phone rings and I pick it up and someone starts talking to me, mimicking in a mocking tone a conversation I just had on the phone two hours ago with someone else, then, then you're moving from surveillance to harassment. But they let me know that I'm under surveillance. But it's not just, it's just not, not just people who are super active and all. They want to know what the general public is thinking. They never stop thinking about you. When you say, oh, they don't care what we're thinking. Oh, no, they always, always focus on you because they know they're standing on your shoulders. And if this great mass began to shrug and rumble and all that sort of thing it gets very wobbly up there so against the line